Got all the cross braces cut. There's 12 of them, four by four, quarter inch thick. Now I gotta bring in the long ones. It's gonna be 24 feet long. So that side is square and that side is square. And now I have to get them in the same plane, quarter inch off. That'll be easy. So now it should be totally level and in the same plane. You push down the bottom string and the top one doesn't move. You push down on the top string and it immediately moves the bottom one. So yeah. I bought an axle and I'm going to put tires on it so I can move it around with the skid loader. And then we put these gusset plates in there. And then we mounted a hitch and I got all that welded. Now we just, just have to mount the plate here and I'll be able to, to mount the plate there and then mount the axle and I'll be able to run it around with the skid loader. That way when I'm done cutting I can just move it out of the way and scoop it up. Yeah, so this is a skid steer attachment. We'll put a ball hitch right there. And then I'll be able to pick it up like that. The axle wasn't wide enough, so I cut it, up, cut it apart. We got her flipped over. It's finally looking like something. Level the sawmill in place, so I'm gonna have six jacks. Two over there, two in the middle, and two here. So the tires on it may or may not be temporary. <laughs> I just need to be able to
that, that, and I scribed it, and then I center punched it, and now I'm ready to drill. Now I gotta do the other side. That's nice. A little update on the mill. I got the rollers on and the track on, and I still need to weld it in place. But it's looking pretty good. Some fine tuning with the track. Three of the four rollers are looking pretty good, but this one's rubbing a little bit there. So I'm going to disassemble everything and shave off a little more there. I cut it close, but I thought I had enough room. Nope. is on that side and then this side is where the motor will be it will sit in the middle like right here I'll have chain on that side too dodge bearings the best you can get it's gonna be sweet These magnetic drill presses are awesome.
got all the holes drilled and tapped. Now we are ready to install the rail. The blade roller guides will ride on these, one on each side. Super smooth and expensive.